So Just Stop Oil has one simple demand, and that is that the UK government put an end to licensing new oil and gas in the UK. But I'm interested to know about these tactics. What evidence do you have that blocking the busiest motorway in the UK, causing endless disruption mm. for mm. tens of thousands of people, is actually achieving anything? We need everybody to come to join us so we don't have to cause this type of disruption mm. on, on the motorways. We need to be sat outside Parliament with tens and tens of thousands of people demanding an end to, to new oil and gas. Yes, but you don't need to resort to this kind of disruptive behaviour because what it seems to me what people are talking about, Indigo, are your methods and not your message. So your message is being completely lost because of the mm. methods that you are using. Yeah, I'm about which, is in, which are I agree with that. I kind of agree with that. And disrupting life for mm. so many people. So the climate crisis is disrupting people around the world around the world right now and even here in the UK this summer we saw the effects of the climate crisis with the UK getting 40 degrees heat and birds falling out of the sky and pensioners dying before they should. This is just the beginning and the climate crisis is going to get worse and worse and worse unless we act. But we know and I'm gonna pause right there. So what, 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 what are your thoughts so far? Birds falling out of the sky. Remember, we, we was talking earlier about what was going on with, with the protests and stopping traffic. So now she's saying birds are falling out of the sky. Where's the it's data? Forty on degrees that? warm. Where is the data on that? We, we so you will think, have to see. So you think? So you think that she just made that up? No, just, she just. It could just have been a bird, bird flu. I mean, <laughs> do, do we know that it's because of oil and gas? Come on. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to come with some better facts because what they're doing, like you said, disrupting whatever stunts they're pulling, somebody yeah. is going to lose their life doing that. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, and oh, my God. So, UK, I hope UK, if y'all on here, I know we got some uh, subscribers over across the pond. What do y'all think about this? Y'all y'all really going into it with this right now because they are they don't want no more oil and gas. And it said it. new. So is that really saying Drilling? that they're against? They said new projects. So we're mm -hmm. good with the projects that's going on. Because right mm -hmm. now, the UK, United States, the world right now cannot survive in the modern economy right now without these oil and natural gases. That's how we're built right now. So it's endless, right? Yes. Yeah. Right now, until we go to uh, some new technology or we we dumb it down back to the fire and ice era, which we're not going to do. Come on. <laughs> it's interesting, man. It's you interesting. Do. Congregation, let us know, man. We're going to keep it potted going. Let's hear what she got to say. But we and know, we know we cover that. that. We cover that on the news. We know all that. Yeah. I'm just talking about these tactics, the message you have, the message that you want to get across, get completely lost. I mean, your message is certainly lost on the woman who didn't get to hospital for her stroke treatment. Your message mm. is certainly lost on the patient mm. who didn't Come get on. to hospital for her cancer treatment mm. uh, appointment. And your message is also certainly lost on Tony Bambury, the man who missed his father's funeral. Mm. So uh, I guess my question oh, is, what does she have to what say? is the point? of doing it like this. Yeah. So it's very clear that the disruption will end as soon as the government issued this statement to stop new oil and gas. But we will have to continue because at the moment, I just do not know what else we're going to do. Do you have any other you know, ideas of how you know. we could get but, our government not for me to, to issue ideas. a statement to end new but, oil and gas? Because this isn't an issue of just no. green policy or just the climate protesters. It's an issue that's going to impact you. It's going to impact me. It's going to impact your children. Of course if it you is. have and children. And we're it's impacting about, people no, around the world. The so tactics. our government's decision yeah. to go ahead with new oil and gas with the full knowledge that this will kill 
millions of people is a complete yes, act of betrayal talking, on my generation. But we're talking about here now the tactics that you are using. I mean, this is what score, Tony Bamboo said. And These artists. people have forced Come me on. That's the not to thing. go to my father's funeral. And it's not like I get a second chance. I will never forget what they have done and I will never forgive what they have done. So my point again to you is that the way you are going about this means that people are not listening to the message. They are just talking about the method and they don't like the method. It's a very serious situation. But we know yeah. that. Well, I'm talking about yeah. the tactics give me you are using. Listen to the- G Give me something, she give me something, homegirl. She don't have a comeback. Come on, no, no, she don't have anything to say. And he's just saying, you can do this another way. Yes. If you want to protest, you ain't got to sit in the streets and do that. Now she, she's soliciting other ideas. Yeah. But Kane, what, what is the next thing is going to be uh, what? Anarchist. Okay. They're going to end up having to take, step it up. Okay. Yeah. Are they going to sit something off somewhere to get some type of more coverage? Now you got world coverage or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doing something like that because they don't know. She, you, just clearly stated she don't know what to do next. Yeah. Well, well, well she's considered this as peace, peaceful protests, right? We're not damaging nothing. Right. We're just in the street trying to promote and talk about what's happening and to stop, you know, future endeavors. That's what she's trying to do. Right, right. But guaranteed, people are going to get mad. And right. maybe even they will get mad. Right. Maybe the, the group that she's with We'll get mad, mad enough where no one's listening to us. So we need to take it to extreme measures. Come on, come and on. What, what what have what have we seen in the U.S. that's similar? Homegrown. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Because I'm, I'm just saying it, that's how it goes. They take it to another step. First, they're not listening to us. We got our signs up. Come we on. We want this. We want that. You know what I mean? Yes. They're not listening to us. What we need to do? Burn something down? Okay. Does this sound familiar? Preach. Let's Congregation. go. Congregation, does this sound familiar? Mm. If you don't get your point across, then then okay. All of that happened over here. And we we everybody knows what we're talking about. BLM, right? So all of that happened <laughs> over here. And what did it accomplish? I'll wait. <laughs> Nothing but silence. Come on. Yeah, yeah, crickets. Because all they, all we have is a bunch of streets that people probably did, you know, donuts and everything else, but a bunch of streets with BLM Plaza, BLM Parkway, all throughout, you know, America to show we care. And all they did was just take they, these people money and run into the hills. But can't see Alabasas. And can't but, but go ahead, go ahead. Well, well, see, you hit on that part right there, BLM. I'm thinking even on a, another scale because of okay. this topic, this subject. Okay, what else can they do? Okay, she could have, if she's over this group or main player, but she could have someone inside the group saying, hey, this is, we're not being heard. I'm going to do something. I'm going to make a statement for us. And then that's how that ingrown terrorism starts right there. I'm mm -hmm. going to do something that's not authorized, but I'm going to take it upon myself to do something that's dynamic that everybody can see. And that's taking it up to the next level. And those sales or in sales or just within some organization that means good, but you're not being heard. So let's let's bump it up two notches. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, yeah. And you uh, never yeah. can tell. That, that will happen. Thing. Congregation, what do y'all think? From from her perspective, what could she do to get people's attention about the climate change? That she's saying that this is all happening. I, I guess she's a scientist or something. She's been studying this. So she thinks that, you know, the climate is about to change and and or it has already changed and it's just going downhill. What could she do? You know what I mean? Like what? And I understand you don't kind of know the, especially if we have a lot of uh, people from the U.S. on this, uh, that you may not know what the rules are there in um, in the U.K. But you know, people in U.K. chime in. Let us know what do you, what what could she do? 
I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, hey, she need to get out of the road. That's what she need to do. Right. And, <laughs> Kane, I, I know that. I know that. Kane, like, I think uh, I think their government, parliament, they uh-huh. should think about this. Invite whoever the leaders of her group is to sit down. You know, we invite people to the Senate to talk about whatever big, big issue is going on or whatever. Uh-huh. So they can get their national attention and they can have a, a civil conversation. Okay. Why are y'all doing this? Well, we know. Well, we're doing this because of this. And they can have some type of dialogue and they can stop. Maybe they can come to some type of agreement. Maybe they maybe they've already uh crossed that hurdle. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah. They've already done and they see nothing's happening, so let's sit in the street. Maybe now we can get their attention. Because it seems like this is it's resorting to bigger things, you know. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like they probably have done the send the paperwork, get a bunch of signatures, whatever. They probably done all of that. Right? Sat down and talked with officials. They probably already done that. So now they're sitting in the road. I don't think they started with sitting in the road. I think I think it escalated. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Let's keep, yeah. It, go- Let's keep it going and see what else we got. The police officer, Chief Constable of Essex, he says this. I think it is only a matter of time before somebody gets killed. Mm-hmm. The only way this is going to stop is, is if Just Stop Oil frankly grow up and realize that they are putting people's lives at risk. Doesn't he have a point that you need to grow up before someone gets killed? Mm-hmm. Because you're making your point, you can make your point in other ways. So. The way I see it, we're completely addicted to fossil fuels. Have you ever tried to ask someone to stop smoking? Yes, look, I yeah. know. So I've asked yeah. my dad to stop my smoking, and that's because I loved him, yes? Well, yeah, and he yeah. was told that if he keeps smoking, he's going to get cancer. Yes. And, what, and the scientists will tell him, you know, he's going to get cancer. But, but, but it's not a very pleasant cancer. process. No, no, one second, one no, second. No, could, I, 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 could I just finish? No, because here. you're asking me about the disruption. You to, you and I, I'm accepting the disruption that... You're causing. Yeah, I'm accepting that it isn't pleasant. And I'm accepting that we feel empathy for all of those people out there. You, but what we're trying to do is to get everyone to come together, to get our government to stop licensing new oil and gas in order to save life. But there are ways of doing it that can this, avoid this, tens of thousands of people having their lives just completely Just weeks ago, disrupted. a third of Pakistan was underwater. The rains have failed in Somalia for the fifth year in a row, meaning mothers cannot feed their yes, children. Yes, we know that, and we covered that. We had correspondence out there. There is a COP27 conference. You may have been covering it, but the media has My failed to make political failed change. Hang on, we've got... Politics has failed us. Hmm. I'm 28. This is the 27th COP conference. So, and what has happened every single year, the emissions have risen so and risen trajectory... and risen. If you were doing your job mm. properly, mm. everyone mm. would be out on so, the street. So, so we have a But they're thing. not. So and I a... really want you to understand. No, do you do know understand. how grave the situation is? I do understand. And, and do but you I'm have talking... children? I've got children. I and do, do you have... love those children? Indigo, please, I understand the point you're making. Yeah. You are here yeah. today to justify the tactics. You're effectively Do you love those listen, children more than you love fossil fuels? You are fuels? committing a crime. Why should... That's Ask what we're it. asking you to Ask do. We're asking you to side with young people uh, who, who are asking our government very politely, in line with the UN, saying that we okay. need to come off fossil okay. fuels okay. That's with, with the knowledge that we're going okay. to go over 1.5 degrees and this will undermine the okay. rule Indigo. of law. Indigo. We're asking people... Stop shouting at me, Indigo. ...to just... Look, you are breaking the law. Your protests are law-breaking. Why should you be allowed to interfere with the rights of ordinary, law-abiding people going about their daily business? That's the question okay, so I'm let's, asking. Okay, let's, so let's, let's, me and you, we can come together, we'll put a referendum up, and it'll say, would you like to destroy much of life on Earth, including everything you know and love, or... Would you like to not? Would you like your government to insulate your house, give you an affordable public transport system, tax the polluters who are making money off people who are starving and cold okay. and hungry in their homes this okay. winter? Do you, what do you want to do? So why, it's why, destroy why you, everything why we know and love. Why are you at COP27 love, making this point? Why are you at COP27? That is the forum destroy everything you know and to love, make this point. Or not. There are more oil lobbyists at COP27 than there are people like you. Why aren't you there making your point? Yeah, and, and, and back to this idea. Isn't that disgusting? Why do you... Imagine is, that. 
Think about my dad when he was smoking. Imagine if the cancer research invited Benson and Hedgins into their, you know, into their what debate you, on what they're going to do about answer lung cancer. Answer me this, uh, Indigo, answer me this. What do you achieve? It's disgusting. Well, I'm just, I haven't asked the question yet. Do you ask me this. What do you achieve by attacking right. things people hold dear? Things people hold dear, yeah, like so, works of art, yeah. like statues. Mm. What do you achieve mm. by that, honestly? Yeah, you've asked me a very reasonable question. What do yeah. you achieve by that? So, we've been disrupting the art galleries, we've been disrupting Why? football matches, we've been disrupting the M25, and we're saying the media is not doing their job properly and they're not telling you the truth about what's coming down the line. Listen, the government are not program. acting. This so we program. need people to and come we're, together, to cover the face up to the that truth, caught, no. that we're going to pass over this threshold of 1.5 degrees of warming. We're going to plummet towards total India. destruction. India, we have, we have climate programs, we so go on climate now, programs and talk and about that. Go to COP27 and talk about that. But there are people across this country who are fed up with having their lives disrupted by your people. And if you want to talk about what Just Stop Oil is, what is Just Stop Oil? Do you, just Stop Oil, what, now? When? Oh, How soon do you want to Just yeah, Stop Oil? That's a really good question. Because so the economy, it seems to me, and I'm sure you'll agree, is driven. Economies around the world are driven by oil. So when do you want to we, stop We will oil? agree there are more things that are important than the economy, won't we? Would you agree then? Uh, is, is, could I just tell you because it was a good question? By 2050 yeah. enough for you? So the, the, is, is let me explain, let on, me explain the demand because yeah, I question. think you'll find it very, very reasonable. All we are doing, in, in order to stop the disruption, the government would have to say, we're going to stop issuing the 130 new licenses for drilling in the North Sea and we're going to say no to the pending coal mine decision. But and, and we've got seven it. years so of answer, reserves. So my question some to you then say five, is why do you have to go and seven. hang off gantries above the busiest motorway in Britain? You've said it. I mean, the other thing you said... Let's get Rishi should, Sunak should, in here and say, you've thing. got rid of some Here's of Truss's thing. toxic legacy. You One second. He put fracking away. He said, oh, what a silly idea. She's brought in this new fracking. Well, yeah. now he needs to say, I have an opportunity here Here's to go thing. to the COP conference and say, Britain is going to lead the way. Indigo. We're going to stop right. drilling for new Indigo, oil and you gas. You said in a newspaper the she other day, in order to protect your yeah. freedom, your mm -hmm. rights, and all that you love, will you stand with us? Now, it seems to me that what you're doing on these motorways and what you're doing um, to cause the police no end of problem and what you're doing in risking your lives as well as people's lives on the motorway, people are not going to come and stand with you. People, how do you expect people to come and stand with you if you are disrupting their lives to this extent? It doesn't take this to get your message across. OK, so um, if it wasn't for women like the suffragettes, I wouldn't have a vote. I couldn't own anything, I don't think. I, all, all, Every right and liberty that we have, your working rights, my rights to vote as a women, woman, they have been fought for. They weren't just handed down by people, from, down from those with power. They were fought hey, for. Come on now. And every single one of those liberties that is at risk because of the climate crisis. Okay. What? Indigo, All run right. below. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so... Uh... Kane, uh, do you I think don't, she, she made a thoughts, good point? Well, well, I, I have a question for you too, but I okay. will. She spoke sometimes very passionate, and we we felt some of it, but yeah. she still avoided yeah. some of the questions. When do you want this to start? Okay, mm -hmm. you said, well, we might they might have five years or seven years of reserve or left. Okay, yeah. but when do you want it to start? You she she went around that question. Um, and if we waited for, let's say if they had seven years and they didn't do any more drilling, fracking, whatever, uh, is it going to shut down their economy? Now she said, well, it's bigger things than the economy, but transportation, uh, hospitals, childcare, and all of those things, she's they not need looking all. at the, she, the bigger picture, man. Yeah, she, not looking at the strategic picture at Come all. on. She's just thinking about she's she's thinking about life, guarantee. Yes. 
life will be lost due to you know all this drilling that she's saying is going on in that area but at the same time you know she's not paying attention that everything feeds off of that yes just like you said, the uh the hospitals and things of that nature she ain't gonna be able to go to the hospital they ain't gonna be able to get the supplies to utilize Come to on. help you in that sense that's that's supply you know what i mean that's the supply chain and how will we continue what's the plan yes okay yeah we stop okay we hit the pause button or we just complete just uh cancel those uh, agreements to drill then what how do we sustain ourselves come on how how does that answer that why he didn't ask that i don't know but yeah um how do you sustain ourselves how do we do that how does that even work I, you say you got the reserve for five years, and when five years runs out, then what? Ooh, then they're going to need to import from other places, pay yes. more money, yep. you know. So yep. it's, it doesn't then, look like it's back a win. In the same it's, it's, yes, yes. So yes. it seems like they would have to utilize it in different locations, maybe, you know, with the um, the, the drilling of the oil or whatever, but you're still drilling. And. <laughs> <laughs> he, he made up some good points. I'll say this. You stopping traffic because somebody attached themselves to something, you know, um, and I miss my relative's funeral. Somebody's having a stroke and they're trying to get and traffic is backed up because of this, which could have been prevented. I'm going to pretty much detest that group. I'm not going to yeah. support them. And then they will have somebody that may be so disgruntled that they will do something against that group. I mean, yeah. it's a dangerous yeah. game, but they're every playing time, right now. Every time they pull little stunts, go to the museums, go to the football games, whether, whatever, you're killing our country, whatever, whatever. They, yes. they do that, they're going to revert back to what you just did previously that affected them. And then they, <laughs> I mean, you, you're losing supporters like that. And we know how <laughs> football, you know, America, we say <laughs> soccer, but football overseas mm -hmm. is so wild. It's here. They, it's here. they, they, it's here. they, they fight and kill each other over that. You interrupt yeah. those games over there? Oh, come mm -hmm. on now. You know what they'll do? Hey, Run out on the field or something, yes. or just disrupting and try to protest. And that, people will be like, this idiot. <laughs> and then they'll. Let's get the game back going. Ain't they, nobody listening to you. They will need a police escort out of there. I tell you that. That's the truth. Come on. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Congregation, let us know how y'all feel about this, man, in the comments. In the comments. Tell us uh, how y'all feel about this over there in the UK. Cross the pond. It's cross the pond. What they doing over there and the way that they protesting. Do you think she can go about it a different way? And, Do you think she's looking at the whole picture? You yeah. know? What's up? No, no. I was going to say they have did light protests like that uh, here, but to mm -hmm. the scale what they're doing and it's a it's a recurring factor. Would that work in the United States? Mm. What would what would Americans do with yeah. that? Would that work in Texas? <laughs> you're stopping you stopping the uh, freeway. Come on. I can, you know, would that work in Alabama. Ten. Come on. <laughs> People got livelihood. They got to get to work. Yes. And no, they can't go to work because you sitting talking about um, <laughs> you talking about the, the world is at stake. And look, my job is at stake if I don't get there. <laughs> <laughs> look, people might get hurt if you protest in front of uh, Popeye's Chicken, KFC, <laughs> McDonald's in the South. Come on. No. For it's, sure, for sure, man. On. Let us know, man. Let us know how y'all feel about that. Give us a thumbs up. As always, subscribe, man, if you haven't. If you're just watching us on every now and again, man, just hit the little subscribe button. Yeah. We got something for you, man. We got a lot of videos, man. Check us out. Check us out. Anything yes. else, bro? You got it. You okay. got it. Right. We do Let's want the, 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 the country to sustain and your mm -hmm. kids, kids, grandkids to be safe and sound. Yeah. But we got to go yeah. about it in a smart way. That's it. Yeah. Have a game plan. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey. Do Bye something. Then. Roger that. Roll <laughs> tide. I don't know about that one. <laughs> hey, sweet. Hold, hold up. <laughs> you see it in the back. <laughs> <laughs>
know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 